Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy, and I am I'm being brave. I'm standing in the middle of bees, lots and lots of bees. And what you're looking at is you're looking at man-made hives. I know I've talked about bees before, but you know, the cool thing about nature is you always learn. And I learn a lot about nature, but I'm always learning more and more and more. And I love that, so I want to share that with you. And bees are one of those things that I always learn so much about, and I love them more and more the more I think about it. Now, first of all, if you're thinking I'm crazy standing around all these bees flying around me, well, the good news is honeybees aren't really known to be aggressive. So as long as I'm not bothering them, they're not going to bother me because they're out there doing a job and they got a really important job to do and that's pollinate plants. In fact, 70 of the 90 species of plants that we eat regularly as a population in this world are pollinated by bees. That's why they're so important to have around. In fact, I think I've said this before, but if we lose bees, if they go extinct, it's estimated and it's possible that humans could also go extinct within four four years. That's how important bees are to us. In fact, they're worth billions and billions of dollars to us here on the planet Earth. That's an amazing thing to think about. Now, as we watch these bees, the cool thing is inside of these hives, there's a queen. Okay, and each hive has one queen. Sometimes there can be 20 to 30,000 bees in a beehive and only one of them is the mama, the queen. She's the one that has the babies. Now, all these bees that you see flying around me night right now, they're the workers. The cool thing is, they're all girls. Every one of them. They're all females. And they're the ones that are going out and they're pollinating. They clean the hives. They take care of the babies. They are the ones that really help sustain the hive. And then inside there, maybe a few flying around, are the drones. And they're the boys. And they're the ones that all they do is they just stick around. And when the queen says she wants to see them, they go and they see the queen. Kind of a crazy thing. Now, the other thing is, is that these guys, the, the worker bees, they can sting. They got a barb on them, so when they sting, it does kill them when they fly away. That's why bees, they don't want to sting you. They don't want to die. So if you leave them alone, they're going to leave you alone as well. Now, the cool thing is, these man-made hives, you probably, of course, know what they're making for us. Honey. How many of you guys love honey? I know a lot of people that do, and that's what they're doing right now. But bees out in the wild, again, they're doing so much for us, we got to show them a little bit of love. And you can see them, in fact, they're even pollinating our sensory garden here at the zoo. Check them out on the flowers. What a beautiful sight that is. So guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy with all these awesome bees out here. Go out, see a bee, love it, look at it. Don't touch it because maybe you'll upset it and it'll sting you. Not only will you get hurt, but the bee will die. Never a good thing. I'll see you at the zoo.